Hey everybody, this is Adam coming back with making my third tutorial. Sorry for the long wait for it. Uh, just been doing a bunch of other things in the meantime. I hadn't really had the time, but now I do, so here we go. So now I'm going to jump right into this third tutorial, and this is going to be explaining how I got the animations for uh, my different screens, holograms, things like that, to pretty much move uh, throughout the scene that you've seen through the other two tutorials. Now I'm going to open up my matinee. Mine's called Holograms. You're going to get a lot of different stuff here. Uh, however, yours will probably be empty if you don't have anything in it already. Mine has a lot of various things, as you can see here. So, bear with me while I scroll through all of this. Okay, so, to start with, we will start with the table. So let me scrub through this so I can get to a good spot. Yeah, so that's where the table starts. Okay, that's fine. We can start here. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that all of your meshes that are going to be moving or that you think might move uh, are moved from uh, are switched from static to movable. So you can find that in your details panel here, well wherever yours is on your screen. I like to have mine nice and organized over on the right hand side. So make sure that it's movable for starters. So with that selected, I can, oh, it's going to deselect it. So add a new group. I'm going to call this Table 2 Tutorial. Okay. So now with that selected, right click onto your group, go up to Actors, go to Add Selected Actors. Beautiful. So now this is set to this group. So now what you need to do is within this group right click on that and you're going to be looking for the add new float material parameter track. Say that three times fast. So with that right here you're gonna see this other details panel show up and there's gonna be two things in it. It's gonna show your elements which are your materials, and your parameter name. So mine's going to be the hologram table. So I'm going to take this, drag it. Oh, sorry, I have to add elements first. Drag it over to that little box there. So now you have your material. Now that material needs to be the material instance. It can't be just the basic, uh, you know, starting one that you were working in before you converted it to a uh, instanced material. It needs to be the one that is able to move in real time within the scene. So that's what that is. Now, your parameter name. The one I had used was called just hologram power. And if you type it right, it should turn it off within the scene because it's going to be set at a, uh, you know, has no value. So, at this point, I'm going to say, yeah, let's just say 20 seconds. So with this one selected, not the group, but you want the material uh, parameter, I'm going to hit enter. So at this time, 22.58 seconds, I'm going to set a value. Right click on it, set value. Now if you remember from the other tutorials, I had mentioned that it will be evident as to why I have uh, sort of the below zero value or above one value. And that was because some of the aspects of that shader were still represented with the, uh, like, pixels. Uh, if you remember, when you turned it on and off, it had um, sort of a, I, wanted, I like to call it a residual after effect from uh, it being turned off or turned on, mostly turned off. Uh, so this I'm going to set to negative 1. I'm going to jump this over to, you know, 5 seconds. I'm going to hit enter. 
I'm going to right click on that set value. This is going to be 1.5. Now you can see that it's turned on. So if I scrub back like here and I hit play, it turns on. If you want that to be a little bit faster, click on whichever one you want to move. You can use the arrow keys to move it over. Now, mine's moving at increments of 0 0.05 because my snap setting is at 0 0.05. If you want to move it faster, you just change your snap setting. Oh, yeah, so that is point or 1, so that went really fast. So I'm going to move that over like that. So now if I hit play, it'll be pretty fast. Yeah, that was compl that was completely instant, pretty much. So I'm gonna move that a little bit more to have a little bit more build up time. Yeah, still pretty fast, but that's much faster than what I had initially had it as. Um, it's the same thing with uh, my city. So here's my hologram city. I'm gonna show you my setup here. There's this. Here's the material parameter over here. Here's the material. Here's the parameter name. Right click on this. You'll see set value negative 0.1. You can do um, negative 1, anything below 0. So um, negative 0.1 was what I pretty much used for the majority of these. Uh, so then as it slowly forward this is still at negative one point or negative point not one nine excuse me uh, the reason I was doing this was so that it could uh, if I wanted to change it between a uh, certain time I think when I was doing this if I didn't have this here, it would slowly, really slowly turn on, and I think that's what I was looking at to do uh, at one point, but realized it was just too slow. So, theoretically, you actually wouldn't even need this one. You could just start with this one. So then, between this, as it turns on, so I can, I'll stop it right here for a quick second. That is the scan line. And you can set that in your parameter uh, on your material instance. And that is sort of that residual extra stuff that I was talking about before uh, that might show up if it's not above, uh, you know, above uh, 1 or if it isn't all the way below 0. Uh, so set value 1.011. So if I just do 1. There, you can see it right there. That's exactly what I didn't want. It took me the longest time to figure out why that was happening. Or not necessarily why it was happening, but how to fix it. So if I just do 1.5, yep, there it is. So I'll show you on the other end too. Set value, zero. There it is again. And that is actually the way I did all of these screens. So the more screens you have, the more timing, the more scrubbing through, the more setting the time, the values, so on and so forth. Uh, so that, that was actually the longest uh, hours that I put into making this scene. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if you'd like to see anything else, uh, just let me know in the comments below. I know I'm going to be making a, another tutorial on just completely starting from scratch for these holograms and the different shaders. And I'm also going to be making the vertex painting uh, from a stone and moss, plaster uh, and stone. Also, how to get puddles onto sort of stone as well. And those other videos are small sample clips in my uh, my channel as well. So be sure to go check those out and let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.